I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. This week on The Rough Draft Diaries, we're talking to a coach. Um, Dennis Hobson, head men's basketball coach at Lord University. Dennis is more than a basketball coach. He still holds the record as a leading scorer in Ohio State's all-time men's basketball. In 1987, he was drafted into the NBA to the New Jersey Nets, playing a total of five seasons in the league. In the 90s, he played basketball overseas before retiring at the close of the decade. For a life full of basketball, it's interesting to note that he initially didn't like the sport very much. Uh, I'm not going to say that I was real interested when I was uh, a kid, but, you know, it's funny. The shift, the shift, and people are not going to believe this, but the shift didn't happen until at the end of my freshman year at Ohio State. Um, again, on a high school level, I think that I was a little more talented than a lot of people that played the game uh, for my age, uh, which allowed me to get by. Um, and then after having some success as a freshman at Ohio State, um, that summer going into my sophomore year, I took a, 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 a or I made a big commitment to watching, to watching a lot more film and, and, and working on my craft. And um, I think going into my sophomore year, it started to turn for me in regards to my love for the game. Um, and again, uh, being able to, to have an excellent senior year allowed me to become a professional athlete. As Dennis grew to love the sport, you might think that he also grew to love the idea of coaching, but that was not the case either. No, not at all. Not at all. Um, if you ask me if I wanted to be a coach uh, during my younger days and during my career, I would have said absolutely not. No, not at all. When I retired as a player, I still was a year and two quarters away from getting my degree. So I went back to the Ohio State University and uh, uh, got my degree. And coaching was, had always been something on my mind after, you know, a couple of years after retirement. And I knew I couldn't go into coaching unless I had a college degree. So went back to Went back to school and did my year and two quarters at uh, at Ohio State and got my degree and um, that led to me working um, at Northwood University under Roly Massimino for a couple of years. That's in Florida, Northwood University in West Palm Beach, serving under the head coach Roly Massimino. However, in 2009, he jumped to Bowling Green State University, then to Bedford High School, and in 2019, he was announced as the head coach of the Lord's Gray Wolves men's basketball team, where he serves today, which means he joined the school just about a year before the pandemic hit. Well, it's, it's, it's the year, and what we, I call it a lost year. 2020 was a lost year, and um, it was a tough year. But I think the biggest thing for us as coaches, mentors, teachers, whatever you want to call us, was to keep the younger group's heads right, you know, because, again, they were experiencing a lot of difficulty in regards to something that they've never, ever had to deal with. And I know myself as a coach, just keeping my head right was was tough at times. So now you're responsible for yourself, and then you're responsible for 13, 14, 15 young men because it was so so inconsistent. It was like a roller coaster. I know with us, one day we made practice, the next day we might be down for 10 days. It wasn't easy. It was super, super inconsistent. But, again, hopefully the, the rough times are behind us. The pandemic is still here, but we continue to move forward and continue to grind and stay positive and um, and, and, and make things happen. But, you know, it, it was a tough year. But it, it was, so it was tough. It was tough. But, again, hopefully we, we survived the tough times. Dennis mentioned another difficulty of the job is shifting perspectives from the coaching style that he grew up with. The way I came, the way I came up uh, as a player under the many coaches that I played for, um, I, I think again, uh, when you were when coaches back in the day, they could really get on a kid and coach a kid hard. Um, and one of the difficult things is nowadays is that the kids are a little different than than they were back in the day. So. You have to kind of know who you're dealing with, know the, the, the personnel of your team. And depending on who you're dealing with, it's going to depend on how you coach them. I know back in the day, uh, one, uh, a coach would coach all his players the same way. Nowadays, you have to really know who you're coaching and, and understand what he can handle and what he can't handle. The positive, of course, is that Dennis is able to give back to these students and teach them all that he has learned on the basketball court and in life. I have a lot of information to share with, with, with a younger group of kids. 
Well, the biggest, the big, the biggest thing is, is I always tell me you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable, and and that's for anybody. I think if you want to, if you want to succeed, I'm not going to say be successful because success is uh, defined in many different ways. But if you want to succeed in a in a tough world, you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. The, the, the biggest thing is, the biggest thing is, uh, again, you, you're going to be who you are, and I think sometimes we want people to be something that they're not but at the end of the day we all have our we all have have our challenges we all have good things about us uh be who you are but more importantly continue to get better uh that's that's the that's the two words i always use get better you know um and don't be afraid to make mistakes because mistake mistakes are a part of growth but at the end of the day get better learn from your mistakes and get better I'm Haley Taylor, and thanks for listening to this episode of the Rough Draft Diaries.